have here a million people subscribing to me. Listen, you already know based on the title of this video what I'm gonna do because one of the things that's been very common on this channel is that I do cooking videos. The first cooking video that I ever made on this channel was when I made my mom's meatloaf recipe. And here's the thing about meatloaf. I believe that not enough people give meatloaf the attention that it deserves. Popular media has been shitting on meatloaf for too many years now. I've got a million subscribers. I can show the people what a real meatloaf is all about. The million subscriber meatloaf. So we're making meatloaf today, again. Thanks for a million subscribers. Hi, welcome to the kitchen, or as I like to call the meatloaf creation zone. As I've mentioned, the meatloaf recipe that we're doing today is the recipe that my mom made when I was growing up. I'm pretty sure that that's the same recipe that she learned from her mom, so this is sort of a multi-generational meatloaf right now. This is a celebration of the meat. If you wanna make the million subscriber meatloaf yourself, you're absolutely welcome to. You can TikTok it if you want. You could make a meatloaf dance. The meat dance. <laughs> We've got the ingredients here for the meatloaf. This may seem like a lot, and I'm pretty sure, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure when it comes to the condiments here, I may have gone a little bit overboard at the grocery store. I'm gonna be tripling the recipe this time around because I've got a lot of people that I'm gonna be going around and feeding the meatloaf. You gotta preheat the oven, okay? 375 degrees is the magic number of the hour. I'm gonna be making these meatloafs one at a time. I only really know how to follow the directions because I, I am bad at, Cooking? I'm, ah, ah, I haven't even touched it. Ah. Hello, Mr. Onion. I'm going to kill you. Bro, you are looking succulent right now. Mm. That was clean. Time to chop these onions into little tiny pieces, little tiny guys. Ha. That looks like rice, it's so finely chopped. Now that I've finished absolutely obliterating the onions, it's time to make the, the fucking meat thing. Exhibit A, ground beef. Straight from the finest cows, they were brutally murdered. These cows, I read, were taken to a shed and just shot in the back of the head. <laughs> Get in there. Ooh! This is what your brain looks like when you're on meth. This is actually also what your brain looks like when you're on five gum. Everybody knows one of the most important parts of preparing a meat is that you have to tenderize it. <laughs> You really want to get a really good fist mark there, okay? If there's no fist mark there, then you can't tell that you absolutely brutalized the shit out of it. That's more of a personal taste on my part, but I think it would be really helpful for you guys when you're cooking something of this caliber. <laughs> Yeah. So now that the meat's in there and it's been unnecessarily pummeled, we've got to add the rest of the ingredients. Two large eggs. Oh yeah, yeah. Also say the incantation, death to the chicken queen. Grape nut cereal. This is the cereal that growing up my dad would eat every morning. And I used to try to do it myself until I realized that it tasted like gravel and that my father was a monster. One, two, baba booey. And at this point, ladies and germs, it's just time to make the fucking meat cake. Oh, I forgot about this process. It's a child. <laughs> this is my child. They tell you not to play with your food, but that was just a lie invented by the CIA. And now, of course, before we move on to the next step of the meatloaf creation, we have to do the ceremonial blessing of the meatloaf. Let's begin. Welcome to the ceremonial blessing of the meatloaf walkthrough tutorial. In this module, you will learn how to properly bless a meatloaf for human consumption. Let's begin. We start by tossing the beefcake back and forth, promoting tenderness and emotional stability. Next, we speed up this movement, eventually converting into a slight toss from hand to hand. This allows the meat to understand the concept of freefall and to increase meat slide as it goes down a consumer's throat. Next comes the athletics portion solidifying muscle memory and giving the meat a competitive aftertaste. And what sports without a couple of fakeouts? Following this is the classic pizza spin maneuver meant to build torque. This directly leads into a higher freefall technique in both two-handed style and single-handed style, which further builds upon the steps taken earlier in the ceremony. Final steps in the ceremony include the volleyball set, the meatball upwards thrust, the incorporation of atmospheric nitrogen, 
the maybe I will purchase that timeshare. A good spanking. And to finalize the ceremony and lock in all previous steps, an uplifting and motivational speech must be said directly to the beefcake as if it is sentient and has thoughts. Now it's time to make the sauce. I have to say, the sauce is probably one of the most important parts of this meatloaf recipe because it gives the meatloaf another extra layer of flavor that you wouldn't have otherwise. Basically, we need one cup of maple syrup, one cup of ketchup, and two tablespoons of mustard. And then you've got the freaking sauce, man. Time to taste test it. Oh yeah, that's the sauce. <laughs> that's the sauce. So now that we've got our sauce and we've got our blessed beefcake, we can now incorporate the two together. Oh, this is even gooier than last time. If you've ever seen The Fly with Jeff Goldblum, this reminds me of The Fly with Jeff Goldblum. So right here, I have a cast iron pan. Oh, God. I love meatloaf, but it is so gross to make. What we're doing now is we're making holes in the beefcake, and when we pour the sauce over, it's gonna get in the crevices. The blessing of the sauce. So now, the meatloaf is just about ready to go in the oven, so let's send it there. So I guess we'll be back when the meatloaf is done. Excellent work! You put your meatloaf in the oven. While you're waiting for your beefcake to cook, here are some of the fast facts about meatloaf. Did you know meatloaf is one of the best-selling music artists of all time? The Western Red Bat cannot see meatloaf. Meatloaf is the only food to have been given the title of knighthood by the Queen of England. Meatloaf was proven in 1987 to cure cancer, but the U.S. pharmaceutical industry lobbied to have research on it halt. It is time, ladies and gentlemen. The meatloaf, it's done, it's been in the oven. This thing looks absolutely beautiful. This is probably the one of the best specimens I've ever seen in my entire life. This is a good looking meatloaf. Let's try it. Fuck. That's a 1 million subscriber meatloaf right there. Now, the only thing left to do, ladies and germs, is to spread the love of the meatloaf, of course. So join me as we celebrate the 1 million subscriber meatloaf. This is the greatest fucking meatloaf I've ever had. You know, it's fucking amazing! Fuck! No one can know about that. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! One of the best things I've ever had. Better than sex? I don't even that's have that's sex. That's the best fucking meatloaf I've ever had! I don't eat meat, I'm sorry. Dad, I will kill you. That was good. God damn, this is good. Get the fuck away. Get the fuck away from me. Let her it's mine. And I say this without exaggeration or any sense of inflammatory language, this is the greatest meat-based sauce dish that I have ever had the pleasure to and I know now that I have seen God. No one can know about this. Whoa! That was so good! Oh, keep that away from me. It's too good. Oh my God. I don't even have sex, so it's uncomparable.
Hey, how's it going? I spent so much time editing this video that I forgot that I never recorded an outro for it. Let me just say it has been the joy of my life to be able to do this as a job. And it's very cool that it uh, worked out. And I cannot be appreciative enough of everyone that are fans of my weird sense of humor. Truly, thank you. Thank you so much to all the YouTubers that helped out with this project and the YouTubers that initially wanted to help out, but the timing didn't work out or something like that. And with that being said, we've got new videos on the way, more content in the pipeline, and I'll be seeing you guys soon.